Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Too Much Kinesi because everybody knows it's entirely too much. Hey y'all, these uploads are doing good y'all. I'm grateful for y'all. And if y'all haven't heard, I reached 100 subscribers, which is my goal. Our next goal is a thousand subscribers. So make sure y'all share these videos. Like I know y'all want y'all's friends to see this. Like, come on now. Stop. I like you don't, okay? Stop. I like you don't because you know you do, okay? Let's just get right into the video. So basically, I will be raising the top 10 FNAF characters from Security Breach. Um, a lot of people are posting about it. We see like a ton of gameplays, all this stuff. A lot of people are posting about it. So let's just get into it because this is how um I think. And then I'm gonna show y'all how I'm like the biggest simp for my top one FNAF character so let's get right into it okay y'all so let's just get right into it and this is my one to ten of how I think about the FNAF characters um just to let you know I'm putting Sundrop and Moon as a character together and also Vanny and Vanessa since we don't know if they are separate characters or together because I've heard too many theories so we're just gonna put them together for this this video alone okay Let's start off with DJ Music Man. Now, DJ Music Man, he is one of the characters that come in briefly and they just basically just come in and go, okay? We only see him for like a brief period of time, but when we first saw him and when um, Gregory and Freddy goes up to him to see him, he is a character that I was just like, wait a second, whoa. Now, I watched Corey Kenshin do a gameplay of the FNAF game, so I'm doing this all based off of like what I've seen when he played it. So just letting you know, all right? Okay, so DJ Music Man, I will put him as, I don't know. I don't really know. I feel like I wanna put him as 10 because it just, you know, like, like he just came and gone, but he was a really cool character to see, but he, he was okay but i love all the colors i love how he was rocking and djing like he was getting it bro he was getting it so i would have fun there too bro okay my number nine will be chica now let me just let, let me just let y'all know why okay chica is like a character of the fnaf that i never liked i've never liked chica she never seemed scary to me and especially in this game she did not seem scary at all to me unless the time that when she had got crushed I was like, sis, you is going through it, hun. You is going through it. Gregory is like teaching you your lesson, honey. And so she will be my number nine because I just, I never really liked her like that. She didn't seem really interesting. She was an interesting character to me. So Chica will be my number nine. Number eight. So now number eight is kind of tricky for me, but I think I'm gonna go with Gregory. Okay, so I'm saying Gregory as number eight because mainly because he he was a cool character, but if we find out that he if he is a robot, because if y'all watch game theory like I do, if he is a robot, then that would be extra cool. So I, he might go up on my list. But from what I've seen from the whole game and the whole gameplay, I put him as number eight because he's just like a basic human character from what we know you know like he's just basic okay just basic to me um we know he's a kid or maybe a robot um uh i really don't know what else to say about gregory he's just not the character that i was gonna put up higher than all the other characters like the animatronics okay so as my number seven I'm going to put Vanny slash Vanessa as number seven, okay? So if we're looking at them as separate characters, I think they will still be on the number seven or number six area because mainly because we didn't get to see a lot of them. Now, we saw some of Vanessa, how she was trying to catch Gregory and just trying to inform Freddy about the things that were going on around the pizza plex. But her character just did not seem wow to me and vanny we were all excited for the trailer and seeing this 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 rabbit girl okay and from help wanted in the book that had came out we were really excited for her character in the fnaf game and i just think that most of us can all agree that we did not see enough lore that we wanted to see about vanny so she is at the same part because i you saw her running around and trying to get gregory and stuff but we just didn't see enough of her we they could have brought more of her so that's the only reason why them two are on number seven because we could have both seen way more of them that it should have been given to us 
Okay, so my number six will be Sun, Drop, and Moon. And the reason because is because they were actually, a, they were a really good character. Now, I wouldn't put them as my top five, but they were really a really good character altogether. Sun, Drop was this character who was really bubbly, really energetic, and from what the daycare seemed, it seemed like he would really have fun with the kids. Now, he did not like a mess, so I don't know how that would work because kids definitely make messes. So I feel like he would have been saying, oh, we gotta clean up, gotta clean up every single chance he got because kids are very messy. Now, the moon really showed his dark ego side, which I really liked because it showed how scary he could be and how quickly he could change in an instant. And he got so aggressive and so mad super quick. So that's where i'm gonna put them too but overall they were a good character and they were really funny like the role that they played in the fnaf game okay now at my number five i am playing monty monty i would put at a lower one but based on all of the characters i put him at number five monty was not the character i was expecting in this game now we all expected for bonnie and bonnie i just i i love the idea of bonnie bonnie is one of my favorite characters so when i noticed that he was gonna be like cut from the game and then all the things that freddie was talking about about him i'm like what so I, at, at first i'm like okay monty did it like monty's so aggressive he had to do it but we don't really know for based off of a game theory saying we don't know if he did it or not but I put Monty in that one. He's, he has a really cool vibe and I wish I could have seen way more of Monty because I really wanted to see his superstar vibe, the way how he was acting. But when the battle came to defeat him, that was just pretty, ooh, that was gruesome. Like his body got cut in half and I was just like, oh my god. Okay, so for number, my number four, I put it as Rox and Wolf. Okay, Roxanne Wolf, she was a good character overall. And as, as you can see, Corey Kenshin was always simping over her anytime you see her. And he even simped so bad that literally he got killed over it because of her. And I was just like, Corey, you need focus, focus on the objective of this game, okay? But anyway, my reason is because she was pretty cool, but especially when um Gregory had took her eyes out and then she was blonde and she had to listen and to find the character of the game and then she was breaking through stuff charging through stuff so to see her character like that I was like wow she actually seemed scary when she didn't have her eyes and it kind of reminded me of Bonnie when he didn't have his eyes you know and it was just like Ugh, like it gave me icky feelings that's one of the characters that did seem scary when they got demolished Okay, number three, I put in Matbot. Now, I, you're probably like, why would you put Matbot in your top three? I understand, but I just, I just like how fun it is when they go like, hi. That's weird. That thing where like, they want you to take a map and whatever. And then especially all these FNAF edits where people are simping over Matbot. It's just hilarious. So I'm putting Matbot in my top three. two is freddy now freddy was a good character overall um usually in the fnaf games freddy's the main character the you know like he's the star of the diners and even in the pizza plex so when you see freddy i was thinking we're gonna get a scary version but freddy was nice throughout the whole game now we did think he was gonna trip when vanessa came and we thought that he was gonna rat out gregory but he didn't he stayed loyal the entire time and it really showed a nice side towards freddy and i really like i like his cool vibe his cool colors the way he stood beside gregory the whole time and especially in the endings when they had a defeat after he was there he he sacrificed himself for gregory to be there with him i was like wow they're making him seem really nice even though i would want to see a, like a scarier side of him and it would have been probably kind of cool if he did run out gregory so we'd be like oh my oh my gosh he just did what like you know crazy okay so my next one and my number one is william afton because it's just Y'all, y'all just gotta understand, okay? William Afton, I simp. I simp so hard. I simp for Spring Trap, okay? So when I saw that ending, the canon ending, I was like, oh my God, he's here. He 
he's here i got so excited i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and like the edits that they make of him like y'all make a simp even more because y'all know what y'all were doing y'all are making a simp so more like the edits of william after i'm just like jesus help me jesus 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 help me but anyway so i really liked his character i'm not simping over a murderer of the murderous acts just the character alone and everybody knows it's imaginary so like it would be bad if i was simping over an actual serial killer okay y'all okay it's just the look okay it's just the look but anyway that's for my video and that is my top 10 fnaf characters of security breach let me know what y'all think also because i do want to get your input on did your is your list kind of similar to mine is this how would you put them like on a tier list like what do you think also do you think they're gonna make another game do you think they're gonna make it based off of security breach again like a security breach part two or do you think they're gonna be at a whole other location or just something different not a location at all so let me know in the comments and thank y'all for joining i love you guys bye Thank you.